Welcome, listeners, to the Redacted Podcast, the podcast that explores some of the world's most intriguing mysteries and unexplained events. This episode, we're doing something kind of special and taking a deep dive into the realm of urban legends from around the world. It's a well-known fact that hundreds of thousands of people go missing each year under unexplained circumstances. To kick things off, we have a figure of folklore that feeds into this phenomenon, originating from Europe. Although most cases come from England, France and Poland, there have been documented sightings as far as India, Russia and the Appalachian Blue Ridged Forests in the eastern United States. Tell me, listeners, have you ever heard the legend of the whistle? Now, it's unclear when tales of this figure exactly began to circulate, but in my research I found this entity to be a campfire story that dates back as early as the 1700s. Most likely created to warn the wary and inexperienced traveller of straying too far from the beaten track, the whistle is a figure said to haunt the forests of the world, waiting in the trees for its next victim. The legend goes that if you find yourself alone in the woods, then you let out a single, sharp whistle. It hears you. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Once it hears you, it starts to stalk you, letting you know it's there by whistling back, a perfect echo of your own call. The sound begins to get closer in a twisted game of cat and mouse. The whistle will follow you until you're out of the forest and clear of the trees. You get yourself back to civilization. You're safe. But if it finds you before then, there's no telling what could happen. What the hell? So, personally, I'm a bit of a sceptic on this one. It's probably nothing more than a trick of the mind when you're isolated in the wilderness, accompanied by an overactive imagination. Most people who have heard the legend of the whistle experience nothing, perhaps only the natural paranoia you might feel when you're walking in the woods alone. There are, however, those that swear they have encountered this entity. What I do find disturbing is that, from these accounts that you're about to hear, there are remarkable consistencies in the details of their stories. It looks human, but it isn't. It's pale. It's pale grey flesh. It's so pale. Almost white. It has no colour. It's gaunt, like skeletal, and it's tall. It's thin. It's skinny. It blends into the trees. That's why I didn't notice it at first. It just stands there and watches. I could feel it watching me. It's like it's waiting. It waits for you to look away and then it moves closer. You never see it move. Its eyes are sunken. Hollow somehow. It has the blackest eyes. The eyes are big. Sunken. Like it's close to being human, but... But not quite. It's pretending. Like it's wearing a face. Like it's wearing a costume. 
You hear it first. The whistling. I remember now. You know it's close because of the whistle. The whistling became louder. I could hear myself. It was my whistle. Calling back to me, getting closer. I was terrified. Uh, I've never experienced anything like it. I ran, but it followed me. It's fast. So fast. It's unnatural. It was like it was toying with me. I still see it. And I close my eyes. I'll never get the image of that thing out of my head. Ugh. <sighs> 